This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Condelaria versus Blakely. You all have been in a long-term relationship and you're engaged, but your wedding plans are on hold because of allegations of infidelity. Mr. Yeah. Condelaria, tell me why this case has been open. Okay, Your Honor. Um, like you said, we've been together for uh, three and a half years, and I love this woman. Uh, she's the mother of my children, but I cannot be with her if she is doesn't pass this lie detector test today. Okay. Uh, I'm not cheating on you. She has been deceptive to me in a, in the past um, for but that was in the a long past. time. I mean, this. I mean, I'm not doing it now. She's always on her phone, and then when I come home, I don't she never, never stay on my phone. She never has anything on her phone. It's all been deleted, you know. I don't delete it if I, I can't. I see if I can't where, keep it on it. I see where she's been calling her ex boyfriend, and then. I come home, see where she's been calling him, and ask her what what's up with that. You know, she's, that was a oh, mistake. Was an accident, I didn't, I did not mean to call him. Huh? Only happened like you know once, not you know twice every day. You know, type. If of thing. I was talking and to when, him, I would have deleted and it. I, and when I see her ex boyfriend, he tells me she, he's been trying, or she's been trying to hook up with him. So you've got I all would've... these, all these things going on, and you're like, okay, I know she's cheating. This has been thrown yes, in your you're face. Right. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel terrible, and I don't want to be with somebody who's deceptive and can't, I'm not can't be honest with me. I mean, honesty is the key to any relationship. So, I mean, that's why we're here, to find out if she can be honest with me. I mean... I have been honest with I've you. had all these, uh, these problems in the past with her about, I think she's lying to me and everything, and it looks really deceptive. All yeah. right, Miss Blakely, uh, you have been vehemently the whole time he's been talking, saying, it's not me, I'm not doing it. If I want to be with yeah. somebody else, I, I, mean, this, I mean, Tell why, me why you're here. I'm here to prove to him that um, I'm not cheating on him, that okay. I love him, and, I mean, we got two kids together. I mean, why would I mess that up? Mr. Candelaria, is, is this just paranoia, or has she cheated on you in the past? Yes, Your Honor. She cheated on me in the past. When we first got together... But I told you about her, it. I had to leave for about a month Oh, no, Miss Blakely. When I come back... You uh, were treating me like crap. You know, really? She says oh, no, everything's Ms. Blakely. all right, denies everything. And for two and a half years, she doesn't, she doesn't tell me the truth about this until after we have a child together that she cheated on me. Two and a half years later. Two and a half years and later. And a baby's in there somewhere. And, yeah, and, and our, our child's six months old now. You know? Oh, my goodness. And two, two and a half years. Two Can and a you half imagine years. wondering? You, and you've been asking her, did yeah. something happen? Right. So he's asking her. And she's denying. And she's denying, denying and denying. And then he goes away and he's contacting her and she tells you, by the uh, way... And she tells me, this is how she tells me, we have a fight. And I leave, and she leaves, and then she contacts me on Facebook and says, oh, by the way, you know, uh, back two and a half years ago, while you, no, you while asked you away, me oh, no. that... Uh, I messed around with this guy, and, but it was only two mm. times. And that's how she told that's you. That's how I found out. That's how you tell him. He wouldn't let me tell Facebook two and a half years later. He wouldn't let me tell him in person. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't understand it. I, I can't get my arms around the notion of waiting two and a half years. And then, and then when you decide to do it, just, you know, I mean, you text, yeah. you know, you yeah. text, hey, pick me up some bananas at the at the grocery store. You you text, hey, don't forget my dry cleaning. You don't text, by the way, I didn't want that to thing tell him two years ago. Oh, and by the way, it was only two times. Only two times, okay. It was only two times. So don't, I, I don't know, Miss Blake, that's rough. It is rough. And this so, is why... The, and this probably is the foundation of why right. you have that no trust. Because that you saw all, all those warning signs back at the time and she denied it right. and denied it and denied it and then it turned out to be true. And now you're seeing all those same warning signs again, I bet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. I've seen them several times. All right. Tell us what you're seeing now that makes you believe she's cheating. Okay. So we're at a... We're at a, a, a friend's house, right? And it's kind of a party going on there that night and... And she, she decides to go upstairs with her friend, female friend. Because you was treating and, me like crap. Okay, well, three hours later, she comes back downstairs. Well, uh, come to find out, there was another dude up there in another room, supposedly. I was not well, messing around with him. I was up there she comes with my back friend. Downstairs, her whole demeanor done changed, right? So she ain't act the same way as she went as she was. Like, she's trying to hide something, right? So I check, 
I say, okay, all right, you ain't, you ain't been doing nothing. Prove it to me. I take her in another room and tell her to show me her panties. Well, she pulls her panties down, and it looks like she's been having sex the whole time. I mean, really? I was... Okay, so you were at, really? you were at somebody's, at a, at a friend's house yes. for a party. She goes upstairs for three hours, mm -hmm. disappears mm -hmm. for three hours, mm -hmm. comes back downstairs, yes, and wrong. her whole demeanor has changed. Mm -hmm. And then he said, I'm gonna let you I want to see yeah. your panties. <laughs> That does not but, mean I was messing around on you, you up there. And when you saw her panties, it appeared, and I can only, and I, color, I hate to say this, I hate to say it. You got a visual in your head, I know. I got a visual. I'm going to need a long drink of water after okay, this. It's, it's burned into my head. <laughs> Why did he come up there and check up on me if he thought I was sleeping around? I mean, really? I, I, because I, I can I, tell you, if I thought you were sleeping around, my butt be up there with them before three Ms. hours. Ms. Blakesley, your point is well taken. Right. Mr. Candelari, why did right. you go and stop because, what because he thought I he was, was going on? Hold on, let something. him answer. I was testing her because I was going to say uh, what whatever. she... whatever. What? I was whatever. just planning on, waiting on her to come down and then, to, and then checking her, you know? Whatever. I mean, okay, Mr. Candelari, would you let me disappear from a party for three hours? Let me just Supposedly find out. Supposedly she Not if friend. I suspected you were cheating. I mean... We go to a party. We aren't like this at the party the whole time, moving around the room like that. I mean, we kind of work the room. You, yeah, you know, talk to I people. Yeah, but I mean, I've never been to, to a party and been away from you for three hours. I'm like 30 minutes, 15 minutes. To... Right. The three hours yeah. is the party. At some point, I'm like, where is she? So I kind of look around, and I might see you. You've got a, people, a group of people you're talking to, and, okay, she's fine. I'm going about my business. So, yeah, I'm not sure it's been three hours, and... If I suspected she was cheating, I wouldn't wait three hours. I'd be like, oh, wait, where is she? You know, right. if I had that suspicion. That's because he was guilty of doing something, whatever you were doing, and you wanted to accuse me of sleeping alone, around. I was alone, not doing nothing. Whatever. Knowing that she's just supposed to be up there talking to her friend. So what, okay. is there anything else that you've seen that makes you think yes. she's cheating Yes, now? Your Honor, yes. There was time and time again that I kept finding these weird bruises on her inner thighs, all right? <laughs> So we're getting intimate one night, and I brought a display. Can I just show you? Yes, okay. sir. This it's is your display? Uh-huh. Right. Please what step I saw, over. Um, all right, so we're getting intimate one night, and all right, we go to do this one certain sexual position that we don't, I, we, I don't believe we've ever done before. And I go and put my hands in, on her thighs, and lo and behold, my fingertips line up with each and every one of these bruises that are on well, her Well, then that means thighs. it was your, your hand I've right? I've never done that. You've never done that position before. So, so you... Rough. I mean, come on now. It dawns on me that she's been having sex with somebody and they're leaving these bruises on her. How are you sure that those aren't your right. fingerprints? I mean, I, mean, if I the... know because I've been asking her about these fingerprints and we weren't having sex that certain way. It had to be in that same certain position and we hadn't had been I having sex. I have a sex. bruise on me right now and that he forgot that he even done it. So you sure those aren't your fingerprints? I'm because positive. His, I'm positive. His, my thinking is, if the fingerprints fit, you must have quit, right? right? <laughs> I mean, I mean that makes sense. I mean, he forgot they about this my bruise. at all. I, I mean... I never you... left no bruises on but her. You, but I have a bruise now and you don't even know what happened right there, really? Uh, oh, so what makes you think I will let somebody else put a bruise on me? I don't know. I well, think she was kind of doing it out of spot or something. I don't know. So, so here's cheating. my question, because everybody wants to know: Who taught whom this position? He. <laughs> then oh, you. Yeah. Did, yeah. Him. I think it was her. Him. I think it was her. Because here's the deal: me. If she taught you and said, "Hey, grab me here, do this, do that," right. hold on. Right. Okay. Then Somebody probably told her. Yeah. Right, but if exactly. you were like, okay, let me grab you this way and put you no, this way. No. Mm -hmm. See, that, that was, I don't know how we got worked into that position. Him? But, I mean, yeah. really? Wait a minute. The good ones <laughs> don't. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we never done that position before at all whatsoever. So, Ms. Right. Blakely, you don't deny that the bruises were there. You're just saying no, he put them there. No, Your Honor, I don't. But I just know it wasn't from having sex by another guy. All right. Okay, I think we've heard enough testimony. Yeah. And a doozy it's been, Mr. Cutler. Yes, it has. Here's what we're looking at. 
Mr. Candelario found fingerprints on her thighs that he says he didn't put there from the sexual position. Uh -huh. uh, she disappeared for three hours while at a party. Uh -huh. Upstairs, he couldn't find, didn't know where she was. And there was another man up there, and he believes that she was with that other man. Um, he's found her on dating apps, and she secreted with her phone. All right. Well, because there were questions regarding Ms. Blakely's activities on the phone, the court would like to call digital forensic consultant Patrick Seward, who has done a full investigation to determine, is she cheating? Ron, please explain Mr. Seward in. Let's cheat. How are you, Mr. Seward? Doing well. How are you all? I'm Doing good. It's good to great. see you, sir. Good to see you. So... For the record, could you tell us what you did in this case specifically? Yeah, I did a full forensic analysis on Ms. Blakely's cell phone. This included searching uh, her phone for messaging apps as well as looking for any uh, dating apps, deleted messages, photos, or videos, or anything like that that might be relevant. Mr. Connellari has a concern regarding Ms. Blakely's ex. Did you find any communications between Ms. Blakely and this ex? So I did, uh, I was able to recover about 71 deleted, te or 71 deleted text messages. Uh, what? Some of those deleted messages were exchanges between Miss Blakely and an ex. Um, the most was uh, the, the most recent was ten months ago. All right. Did you find anything else on Miss Blakely's phone? And it appears that Miss Blakely had an account uh, for a dating or hookup hook app mm -hmm. uh, that's where she's been in communication with other people. Um, I was able to recover really? 804 deleted emails. 107 of those emails contained explicit photos and videos and messages like this. So looking for some great sex. Those are those... Uh, no. That's not from me. No, no. no it's not it's from to me. you. No, no, it's not from you. These are to you. Right. Okay. But it's not me sending any out. Did you find any other? Yeah, there were additional ones uh, such as this one. Uh, seeking a discreet, intimate encounter ASAP. Look. He would get on these sites, make... Come on, now. But these are messages you've received, correct? But I have not made any outgoing. Like, okay. I have not been chatting with these people. But these are from websites that you were on, because I ain't been a... on no websites. Ooh. But it says to you. It doesn't say to somebody else. It's That's my email. to right. your email. Yes, to my email, which right. we've had this... Let me just point blank ask you this. You're denying that you have had contact or tried to contact anyone on, the, on these sites and have not responded to them. Is that your testimony? Yes? Yes, Your Honor. Well, to further investigate this matter, the court ordered a polygraph examination of Ms. Blakely, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Michael Williams, into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. <laughs> Mr. Williams, you asked Ms. Blakely, did the handprints Mr. Candelaria saw on your inner thigh come from having physical, sexual contact with a man other than Mr. Candelaria? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, bet. You <laughs> You asked Miss Blakely, since the start of your relationship, other than the two times Mr. Candelaria knows about, have you had physical sexual contact with any other man other than Mr. Candelaria? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? On this question, there was no significant physiological responses that I could determine, which indicated to me she was being truthful. Thank you. All right, Ms. Blakely, you look relieved yet angry. Mad, yes. Yes, tell me about that. Because he has treated me like crap. The way I treated her was wrong. I mean, 
And I'm sorry. I really do apologize from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I love you. I want to marry you. Oh. Will you marry me? Yes. Will you be my wife? Yes. Do I have to get out? <laughs> I love you and will always love you and cherish every moment that you get spent with me. Will you be my wife? Yes. All right. Well, that's a long way from where we've been. So here's the deal. Me and Mr. Cutler, we got lucky. We got, we were young and... Yeah. Goofy. <laughs> young and goofy. But we figured it out. And, and it's been a blessing. And I want that for you all. I want you all to have that same joy of waking up with that person you enjoy the most, mm -hmm. who's your best friend, that you have this life and history together. I want that for every couple that comes in here, including you all. So Dr. Jeff is gonna be the one to help you get started on that. Thank sure. you, Your Honor. And as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a happy, healthy relationship. Court is adjourned. <laughs>